Since the war ended, Rwandan women have played a large role in the reconstruction of civil society. The empowerment of women into positions of leadership has earned President Paul Kagame recognition. A shining example of women raising up their own future leaders is Rao, the Rwanda Association of University Women. My name is Gwakazina uh, Marishangan. I'm a lecturer at the National University of Rwanda in Butala. I'm a member of the Rwanda Association of University Women, Rao, and I'm also the vice president of this association. Rao's mission is to encourage Rwandan women to pursue higher education, especially in the field of science and technology. Societies that raise the status level of women reduce poverty at the same time. Many academic studies have shown that empowering women raises the standard of living. When women study, everyone benefits. Rao exists to do just that, to empower women to pursue high education as societal equals. We first encourage our young uh, girl students from in secondary school. Uh, we meet them and we encourage them to pursue education for in higher learning institutions in the country and the world. We find girls in their schools and we meet them. We talk about our experience as university women. And uh, what we have gained from our degree as Rao members sponsor scholarships believing that women scholars can solve society's most pressing problems. Foremost, gender inequality. Rachel was a recipient of one of those scholarships. I would like to be able to so that I can feed those poor people and those sick people. Of course, here in your country, you can't go without a certificate. And you can't get a job without that certificate. One of the major objectives of the Association of University Women is to support girls and women to continue. In Rwanda, there are a lot of orphan children, vulnerable children, who are unable to continue their schooling because they don't have sufficient funds, they don't have support. So one of the things we thought was very important was to help girls to continue their education. Rao has grown to 180 women with their members representing countries all over the world. The organization's cooperation extends beyond the Rwanda border as an integral member of the International Federation of Women. The association's work has earned them mention in a number of publications. But all of this recognition comes only with hard work. and the participation of university women across all the sectors. My name is Joy Mukanya, I'm a retired diplomat. My name is Jean Glam, a physiotherapist. I'm the counselor for uh, gender consultants in gender and development. I'm working in the Ministry of Development and Social Development Officer. University is a big step for some girls who face extreme challenges as orphans the most vulnerable group in society. Rao aspires to empower women to higher education and since 2005, the association has been hard at work. Gender equality in Rwanda and uh, achieve the uh, Rwanda. Development.